Today for the capacitor bank I have three aluminum pop cans. First one that's already attached to the capacitor bank at the left has a 10 turn coil. The middle one has a 15 turn coil and the one on the right has a 20 turn coil around it. The capacitor bank is currently 70 microfarads and I'll be charging it to 6400 volts for each one of these three can tests. The coils were all wound using the same number 10 copper solid wire from the same spool. So there should be no problem with wire size differences or anything for this test. Let's see what, if anything, will happen to these cans. Let's start with the 10 turn coil for can crushing. Charging, charge, and fire. Well, there was can shrinking activity there. Let's now try the 15 turn coil. Charging, charged, and fire. A little smoke rose from the can. Some crinkling off it. We'll see what it looks like when the coil's removed. The 20 turn coil is now set up with its can. Let's give it a try. Charging, charged, and fire. Again, a loud bang, a little crinkling of the can, and some steam or smoke rose out of it briefly. Here's the result of the three tests. 10 turn on the left, 15 turn in the middle, 20 turn on the right. Let's pull the cans out and have a look. Here are the three cans that resulted today. It looks like the 10 turn can got the most crushing activity. The 15 turn got some. The 20 turn got wrinkled and only uh, crunched in a bit. Thanks for watching, and as always, there'll be plenty more to come.